आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यूर ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे On the 2nd of April 1870, Pune Sarvajanik Sabha was founded. Pune Sarvajanik Sabha was a socio-political organization which was started with the aim of working as a mediating body between the government and the people of India and to popularize the legal rights of the Indians. It was formed in 1867 by Mahadev Govind Ranade. भवन राव श्रीनिवास राव पंत प्रतिनिधि गणेश वासुदेव जोशी एंड एस एच चिपलुणकर अदर इम्पोर्टेंट मेंबर्स ऑफ द सभा इंक्लूडेड एम एम कुंटे विष्णु एम भिड़े बाल गंगाधर तिलक एंड गोपाल हरि देशमुख The Sarvajanik Sabha was an organization which was representative of the people of the region. So, its first 95 members were elected from among 6000 people. The members were mostly from the educated middle class of the society and consisted of lawyers, teachers, journalists and government servants. Even though the members were mostly from the upper middle classes, the membership was open to people of all castes and classes. Sarvajanik Sabha was meant to serve as a link between the government and the people. The organization organized lecture tours and meetings and tried to foster national pride among the people. It also organized relief work during famines. <laughs> The Sabha even encouraged Swadeshi and sent its member Ganesh Vasudeo Joshi to the Delhi Darbar of 1877 in hand-spun khadi attire. At the Darbar, Joshi read out a citation demanding Her Majesty to grant to India the same political and social status as is enjoyed by her British subjects. The Pune Sarvajanik Sabha provided many of the prominent leaders of the national stature to the Indian freedom struggle including Bal Gangadhar Tilak. It served as one of the pioneer political organizations before the formation of the Indian National Congress in 1885. Also on the 2nd of April 1942 Cripps proposal was rejected by the Congress. On the 22nd of March 1942 a mission headed by Stafford Cripps was sent to India with constitutional proposals to seek Indian support for the Second World War. Because of the defeat of Britain in Southeast Asia The Japanese threat to invade India seemed real now and Indian support became crucial. There was pressure on Britain from the allied nations to seek Indian cooperation. Indian nationalists had agreed to support the British on a condition that substantial power was transferred immediately and complete independence would be given after the Second World War. The main proposals of the cabinet mission were An Indian Union with the Dominion status would be set up. After the end of the war, a Constituent Assembly would be convened to frame a new constitution. All members would be Indians. The British government also put a clause that it would accept the new constitution subject to a condition that any province not willing to join the union could have a separate constitution and form a separate union. Muslim League criticized the idea of a single Indian Union. The Congress objected to the offer of dominion status instead of a provision for complete independence. The nationalist leaders also rejected the idea of rights to provinces to secede 
as this went against the principle of national unity. The other groups also objected to the province's right to secede. This breakdown of talks led to the launch of the Quit India movement, which served as the final nail in the coffin of the British Empire in India. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Thank you.